Happy Valentine's Day, everyone! I hope everyone is doing well and safe! Nothing is more romantic than having a warm plate of stuffed grape leaves in a cold winter, winter day with your loved ones, especially when it's Valentine's. That's why I am presenting to you this beautiful Middle Eastern recipe that you will enjoy to the maximum and the taste is guaranteed. We will start with one pound or almost 500 grams of grape leaves. I'm using preserved ones and that's why I will wash them to make sure that I have eliminated the majority of the preservatives. Bad news is you have to use the whole container because it's very hard to reuse it. Good news is you can stuff them with rice and then put them in the freezer and whenever you want just get them out and cook them. I will start by washing them in water one by one and this is like the first wash. Once I do that for all of the leaves I will rinse them quickly on the running water once strain them and then do it one more time and that's it. Don't worry it will not take time it will take about like two to three minutes probably and this is after I finish I'm keeping them on this strainer to make sure that it drips all of its water to make sure they are not soggy anymore and then I will start preparing my rice it will be something called Egyptian rice or as we say it in English short grain rice I will use from the rice three cups and third of a cup you can use third of a cup or fourth of a cup for the whole container. Now, after washing the rice, I've already washed the rice, I will start with the vegetable section. It's recipe loaded with very delicious vegetables. I will use three medium onions and this is a very speedy method. This is a very speedy method of cooking and doing this recipe. Usually they will do it by cooking the vegetables on heat for like one or two hours but this one it will take way less time and the deliciousness of it and the great taste of it will still be the same. So I'm using three, three medium onions. I will chop everything like large ch uh, pieces and then toss them in the food processor. Then I will use five medium tomatoes. Of course you can use canned tomatoes. We, we happen to have the very good fresh ones, that's why I'm using them. And I will use one bouquet of each, one bouquet of parsley, one bouquet of dill, one bouquet of coriander. One bouquet by one bouquet I mean approximately or roughly around one and a half cups of chopped of these herbs. Like one and a half cups uh, chopped ones, okay? But not compressed ones, you know, loose. So I will chop them like two, three or four sections and I will toss them with the tomatoes and the onions inside the food processor. I will give them one stir, then I will repeat the process and let them roll inside the food processor until everything is well combined, as you can see. Now I will take my washed rice and I will pour this vegetable mix on top of it. Then I will add tomato paste. This is 70 grams, approximately 3 tablespoons of tomato paste. Then this is half a cup of olive oil. And now I'm going to be using my spices which is one tablespoon of coriander seed powder and I will use one teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon tablespoon of paprika, one tablespoon of cinnamon and black pepper to taste, half a teaspoon of chili flakes and then sea salt to taste. I have used one tablespoon to one and a half tablespoon. For this amount it will be very good. Then I will stir everything. And by now, the preparation of all the ingredients is already done. What's left is that we will take the grape leaves, stuff them and put them in circular 
like shapes inside the pressure cooker and I will show you step by step how we would do it. Now I will start with the leaves and I will show you two ways to put the rice inside the leaves and roll them. This is the first one by starting by the upper section, middle upper section of the leaves and then I will start folding the sides and then rolling them to make sure that everything is well tucked inside. And this is the first one and most common one by the way. Second one. I will not use the bottom or the top of the leaf, I will use the side of the leaf. And to be honest, this is how I usually do it in my house. Again, the same method. Just roll it once and then fold the sides and then continue with the rolling the rest of the leaf. Almost the same. Now I forgot to mention which side you should put the rice on. You shouldn't put it on the, on the soft side, put it on the rough one, where the vines are sticking out. And this is how I do it from the left or right side of the leaves. Now if you have a huge leaf like this one, whether you do it all like usual, or as I do it here to make sure that everything is almost close to the size, I just rip it in half and use the first half as an individual leaf like the regular ones. Again, roll it once, tuck it from the sides and then continue with the rolling the rest of the leaf. And I will use the other half the same. Now after I finish, here's what I will do. I will slice some potatoes, you can slice potatoes, you can slice onions, you can put maybe vegetable scraps, it's up to you. And then I will put them in circles, like outer circle, then an inner circle and so on, as you can see. And once I'm finished with all the grape leaves, I will put them in the pressure cooker. And then I will add to it, I'm using chicken stock. You can use chicken stock, vegetable stock, meat stock, whatever stock you want. Even turkey, you can use them. And as you can see, I have used three and a half cups of the stock that I'm using. The thing is, you want it to make sure that the, the stock that you are using is sticking out, all, barely covering the upper layer of the grape leaves. Then I will set my pressure cooker on a random program on 34 minutes. And this is the result. A masterpiece. I love it. This is one of my absolute favorite dishes in the whole world. I can like eat it every day. And as you can see, it's boiling hot. But I had to show it to you. It's, it's beautiful. And you will find from the insides, the grains of the rice are separated. They are not mushed or anything, which means that they were properly cooked. And this is like traditional cooking without the pressure cooker it will take around one hour approximately yes one one point like one in 15 minutes something like that okay and a very low heat i definitely but definitely you can use the conventional ways you don't have to use the pressure cooker but for me i, I love things that save some time for me if you like the recipe of the day please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and comment if you need any more recipes Middle Eastern or any kind of recipes that you want me to modify. Till next time, take care. Bye!